Check out the longer guide I've already done for the Scarlet Bench and how to set up your drills, but this is just a quick one. If you've got the drill, then obviously you're going to need some sort of generator or you're going to need some electrical wires to set up. And that's pretty much it. As long as you're okay with coming and running back and collecting it after a few hours or so, you should come back to a good hundred or so ore. Pop the drill next to the ore, connect it to a generator directly or pop some cables to it and that's it. You go ahead and highlight the drill and turn it to whatever direction you need it to as well. Items don't disappear so the ore will stay there forever until you go and collect it and the enemies will leave this alone, they won't be able to destroy anything too. You can absolutely set up the arms so they gather the ore and deposit it onto the conveyor belt and then you have another arm that will take the stuff from the conveyor belt and pop it into a chest. Set it up exactly like this so the generator is powering the arm then you've got one cable powering from the generator to the actual drill. Place the conveyor belt just above where the arm is and you can see it transfers it down the actual conveyor belt. And if you really want, have another arm at the other end, place it again above the conveyor belt and put the chest there and it will deposit it directly into the chest. This obviously works with all ores and the Scarlet Ore do remember you won't be able to get until you powered up all three cores. Hope you found it useful, check out the full guide so I go over every single thing that you can craft with the Scarlet Bench and I'll see you for more tutorials, advanced ones soon. Bye bye.